let's start our next topic good receipt and here we go through a couple of different uh, videos where you'll see um, different types of good receipt for example good receipt for the purchase order production order or without any reference etc so first we're going to start good receipt for the purchase order so the topics we'll be covering they are the good receipt process for purchase order uh, dynamic search capabilities and also we'll talk about the application settings available for good receipt so before we start let us briefly understand what is good receipt good receipt this is one of the important step in a company's procurement process is a receipt of procurement goods so once we send a purchase order to uh, our vendor so when they send the goods to us then we are supposed to do the good receipt in our system so that system can understand that we received the goods and can update the stock in our system a good receipt in a company's formal is a company formal acceptance that materials were received from a vendor against a purchase order after the material is received and the transaction is completed the value of the material is posted to the general ledger account and in s4 hana system there are two business roles sap br inventory manager and also sap br warehouse clerk this includes the target mapping of the post good receipt application so if you try to practice on your system then please make sure you add these two roles or any one of these role and you will be able to see the good receipts application um, on your system and in the next uh, part we also see we we'll talk about the dynamic search capability in, in the fury system where it is s4 hana system has provided us um, with a search option where we can search for a purchase order just by tapping the vendor name material name um, or product name etc etc so this is a dynamic search capability that i will see in a minute so let me show you this one in the system so here before i show you the um, applications i'll show you the traditional way of good receipt using the mygo transaction so in eccmm also uh, all the transactions or the good receipts were happening using the mygo transaction in s4 hana as well we can also use mygo um, but we have the, all the applications available for the end user that i'll show in a minute so if you use a mygo just in case Occasionally, occasionally we need to use mygo because there are some functionality not available in the s4 hana uh, fury applications that i'll talk at the last part of this video in that case you might need to use this mygo transaction so here uh, you can se select the goods receipt from here and then you can select the for purchase order is uh, goods received for the purchase order and then here you can type your purchase order number if you remember or you can also click on this show overview and on the left hand side it will system will show you all the purchase order created by the user for example in this case it's showing up all the purchasing order created by me so here i can select any of the order here i can double click on it or otherwise i can click on this search button and here i can search by for example order type vendor number purchasing organization there are so many options here so for example you can also see more option for search by clicking on this little icon on the corner here you can search by for example purchase order for service uh, purchase order for request for quotation date uh, purchasing order for material there's so many ways you can search so let me search by for example i want to search for my vendor i can i know my vendor number 2410 and i can enter and these are all the purchase order for that vendor so i can select one of them so i can say for example select this one press enter and optionally if you want to hide the left hand side screen you can click on this hide overview again and it will be gone so here when i enter the purchase order number press enter it will show me all the item that is pending if your purchase order is all already good accepted you will see a message here or error here that there is nothing to be good received but in this case we can good see for this one so here either i can i can work on this screen for example i can select ok and good receipt quantity coming from the purchase order which is three 
and if we for example received only two not all the quantity you can change it here you can also enter the uh, story location or you can also search for the story location by clicking on this icon I can select production like that I can click on check if there's something missing or not the system saying that there's one quantity less that we can say okay that's fine we know that because we knew that total quantity was th three but we selected two here alternatively you can you if you can also have a detail screen if you click on the bottom bottom screen which is detail area here if I scroll down you can see more detail for example the first tab material here also you need to select this ok button first and then you can see different data in different screen for example here is a material number material name material group I can click on quantity you can change the quantity here for example here you can see quantity in the delivery node for example the vendor might have sent in a different unit of measure you can enter here if you want then where tab where by default system is showing you 101 movement which is correct one you can change it here same way you can change uh, the uh, the story location which is production here you can also change the stock type where the stock should be going whether if we need to do an inspection for this one we can send it to quality inspection in this case but normally we use for the unrestricted one then we can go to the ne less, uh, next tab which is purchase order here you can see delivery completed so once the order is uh, received 100% or within the tolerance system will automatically set the automatic delivery indicator then partner this is just showing the vendor number I can close this last the bottom screen click, click on close detail view I can go back to the middle screen here again and if you scroll, if I scroll to right you will see all those fields that we have just seen for example you can see stock type here quality inspection or movement type etc etc so let's I will close I will not save this one I will go back and I will do the goods shift in the Fury app so if I go to the Fury browser and here if you have assigned uh, that uh, BR manager role to yourself in SU01 you should be able to see a tile group here which is called uh, warehouse processing so if I select this one warehouse processing here you can see this is the application post goods shipped for the purchase order now if I click on it it will ask me what is the purchase order number if you know the purchase order number you can copy a paste here you can also type manually here or alternatively if you don't know you can search by clicking on this little search box so this is this screen I was talking about earlier in the PPT slide that this is called the dynamic search capability so basically I can there's so many ways to search for it for example as I mentioned before I can search for say I just remember the vendor name for example vendor name was um, John Holland or something so I can search for only John if I just type John it will and press enter it will then search for all the all the purchase order that are having supplier name as John so there can be more than one John maybe supplier name John 1 John 2 etc etc you can be more accurate by tapping them the better the clear name here the so same way I can search by for example shaft 1 for example any material that got shaft 1 as the name or anywhere in the purchase order you will see them for example showing up all the on the material you can see on the right hand side material shaft 1 Z 1 2 3 etc etc so I just search for shaft 1 if I say uh, if I want to be accurate I can shaft 1 Z for example I can press enter again it will search for all the purchase order with shaft 1 Z as a material and or wherever this exists for example maybe here is showing up shaft 1 2 3 but it had it could have a second material as shaft 1 Z so that can be the case or I can also search by say if I say ZZMM so anywhere where ZZMM is there it can be purchase organization it can be plant it can be something else it will show you everything here so here I once I find my order and then I can select it and system will show me this screen we have seen this screen before 
uh, we'll, we'll look at it again so here you can enter here storage location I can search for the storage location and here showing up there are three of them production raw material received storage location so with the production one is showing up there's a stock of 992 already there in the quality there's zero stock in the block there's zero stock I can select this one and here also I can like we have seen in the MIGO I can I can select whether I want to send it to quality inspection block stock or good seed block stock so that's a special category available here that means is this quality inspection can be anything for example later on we find something some issue or the material in the warehouse got rusty or something like that we need to check it but when you select this one the last one that means this specifically um, sorry I'm talking about the block stock this one so block stock can be something wrong happened later on but this one is that good to see block stock that means when we see the stock and we found out later on after the quality inspection or something that this stock has something wrong in that case we can select this category that means this is blocked because after we find the uh, after the goods received happen so here also you can uh, see uh, if I can scroll to the bottom I can you can um, attach a document here if you want or add a link here like you can click see, click on this add a link or you can you can click on plus or you can upload something from my system and if you want to go to the, on the top you can have see um, print is no printing note if there's a note here delivery note which you received from the vendor posting dates etc and you can go to the item detail here this is showing up one item which is coming from the purchase order there can be more than one item in a purchase order and you can see all of them here here is showing up 800 quantity which is coming from uh, purchase order quantity I can change here manually for example I received only 500 and also I can click on this detail this arrow button it will go to the detail of the item so in the detail of the item you can see open quantity is 100 800 we have ordered 802 we might have received two so far 800 is pending and now we're receiving 500 for any reason you want to complete it that means you don't want to receive any more quantity you can click on this delivery completed checkbox so system will not accept anything for this item and this purchase order item will be considered as completed if you select this delivery completed and doesn't matter if the delivery is really completed or not so you can see some more fields like plant store location stock type etc if I scroll down there's some more short text if you want to enter good sapient for example so I can go back and once I'm done then I can click on this post button here at the bottom and system will then save it and post it so you can see system created a material document I can click on this if you want to view it I can click on this material document if you want to view it will then open the material document so after you have completed the goods saved system will update the workflow so if you see from the purchase order where well, you can see the workflow is updated or you can call it workflow process flow so for in this material document you can see the same thing for example if I scroll down down here if I click on the item detail if I scroll down it's not showing in this one but if you go to the purchase order you will be able to see this one over somewhere over there so that's how you can see the you can do the um, goods shipped so let me go back to the slides now we also talk about some application setting which is available for when you do the goods shipped now whenever you open any application for example if I go back go back again let me open it again so if I open this application ports goods received and I'm here 
so when you open any any application now depending on application when you click on this user setting button on the top left hand side when i click on it and then you go to the application setting so depending on what application you have opened you will be able to see different types of setting available for example in this case it's showing me this setting available for example in the help option whether you want to search for only selected standard purchase order or whether you also want to select the purchase order so you can untick this one that means STOs will not be displayed in that case and there is another option here selecting barcode scanning for of purchase order if barcode scanning is is activated so you can see this setting for this one for example if i try to open something else for example um if i try to open material document overview let's see what happens if i click open this one here you can search by material document for a material for a purchase order etc when I click on this setting again, and you can see there's no application setting button. That means no setting is available here. Let me try one more. Say transfer stock in plant. If I go to the user setting, there's nothing available here. So depending on the app, actually, you will be able to see different um, application setting or there may be nothing. For the, this option so that's your application settings so now very important note SAP Fury application can't be used with a batch managed or serial number managed material at this moment in those, those cases you will need to use the transaction MyGo in SAP GUI so they might at this moment it's not available but in the future release uh, or in the future update of the SAP Fury, they might uh, provide this um, um, option to where you can manage the batch managed material or serial number managed materials in the Fury. But at this moment, you need to use GUI. Other thing is that some moment types aren't available uh, currently uh, by SAP Fury application. And for example, moment type 107, which we use for goods received of the valued block stock and 109 which is good received from from valuated block stock so one is two one is from so in such case the post goods movement application based on transaction my go must be used so these are the two exceptions where you can't use the fury app so that's all about this so now we learned about goods receipt process for purchase order how the dynamic search capability is working and also the application setting available for for the post receipt for the purchase order so that's all about this and thank you very much to watch this